since we've seen all day that's okay. 738, is that to do PR for you? Yeah, the PR for me, I think. Two weeks ago I ran in Portland and it was 740 and come out here to better that was a, it was a nice, it was a loaded feel, you know. We, I think you had some, by far probably the most stag 3K when it comes to Americans. Because I think you probably had like five plus guys that are ranked in the top 15 in the 5K at all times running the, in the uh, 3K tonight. So it was a great event, great feel to, you know, come on top, at least, you know, the top two. But what were your expectations for today, and were, were you planning to take the lead at the point that you did? Uh, I, I wanted to win. That was it. It didn't matter to me. It was the slower fast. Uh, and, you know, I was trying to be in the front with two, two laps to go because it's such a tight track. It's hard to pass somebody, so I figured if I'm in a position to control, and you know, anybody who has to pass me would have to go outside. So, And I try to do that with Ryan every time, trying to beat him to the turn, beat him to the turn. But uh, he's got a great wheel. But, uh, yeah, we're always to come here and win, you know, be in a position to control the race the uh, last quarter or so. So you, didn't, I mean, you got second, so yeah. are you happy or disappointed? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not, like, devastated, but it's nice to run PB, but the, I would have liked to win, uh, you know, win. And I'll meet Ryan, and Ryan's a good friend of mine, and I always give him a hard time saying, I'm coming for you, coming for you, because he's, he's got a great kick, you know. So you would rather hedge your result today, or would you rather run 742 and 1? Nah, I mean, I'll take the PB, but yeah. it'd, be, it'd be nice if you could get both. Yeah. Yeah. Was it hard to judge uh, how close he was behind you and maybe when he was going to make that move? No, I mean.